Um, How do I find a new apartment or do I need to move? Yeah. Yeah. So it depends on the extent of the damage. Obviously, um, you know, in this case, you know, you very often, if it, depending on the size of the loss, there are uh, independent insurance uh, uh, consultants, insurance adjusters that you could hire to give you, uh, to help you in those kind of things. Um, and then, you know, what may happen in a situation like that is if you've caused other damage to the building, you know, the, the landlord may also, you know, get, you know, uh, get involved with his insurance or with his or her insurance and then um, connect them with your insurance company so that you're, uh, everyone's sort of uh, uh, being covered there. So uh, certainly a fire is a very um, dangerous situation and, um, but also very damaging because it causes, you know, there's a lot of smoke uh, damage and um, uh, who knows, you know, there's water damage if they put that out. So, but um, just from a perspective of your stuff, obviously having renter's insurance will very oftentimes cover you for that. And, you know, when you're considering renter's insurance, um, there should be some part of those policies that enable you to uh, have replacement, uh, you know, depending on the policy, you know, uh, give you some stipend for finding another place uh, while things are being repaired or et cetera. Good thing to, good thing to look out for when you're buying insurance to say, what if something happens that makes my apartment not habitable? So that's, that's a great uh, question to also include in when you're in your searching for the renter's insurance. Awesome.